And the show may not go on for Duck Dynasty. It's been just a day since the patriarch Phil Robertson was suspended for inflammatory comments about gays in a magazine interview. His family is hinting they may drop from the show as well if he is not reinstated. And now a parade of all-star conservatives are marching in his defense, including Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal and Sarah Palin. Phil was saying in... He, he was reciting a, a part of the gospel. The liberal left must feel that the gospel then is insulting and offensive. I think there's an ongoing assault for those right now that are speaking up for the religious beliefs. I think there's an ongoing assault from the left from anybody who dares to disagree with them, who are not so-called politically correct, who, who don't agree with the, the orthodoxy coming out of the extreme left. A&E, they were absolute quacks on this one. All right, joining me now, Democratic strategist Chris Kofinas, former chief of staff for Senator Joe Manchin, and Kristen Hawkins, president of pro-life campus advocacy group Students for Life, who served on the Bush-Cheney re-election campaign. Chris, let's start with you. You know, you heard the uh, points that Palin and Jindal uh, just made in the sound bites that we played. Uh, Robertson not advocating for action or harm necessarily, just stating his opinion as a religious conservative. How would you break this down? How do you respond? Well, I, you know, there's a big distinction here. You know, everyone, listen, you have the right in, in this country to say, unfortunately, hateful and uh, offensive things. That is that is constitution, constitutionally protected right. You do not have a right to a TV show, uh, and you do not have a right to be paid for those views. And I think that's where part of the distinction here is. Now, that being said, when you have these conservatives like Sarah Palin and others coming out to defend it, they're obviously playing to their, I think, their far-right base. I think the part that, again, they seem to misunderstand is the country has moved in a more progressive direction on these issues whether it's on gay marriage or choice or immigration and Republicans keep fighting the last war and every time they do it all they end up doing is alienating well, the all very voters they need to win but not all Republicans I'm sorry not all Republicans no, but you know, clearly the Sarah Palins and others that are playing to this base, it ends up becoming emblematic. And when you don't have other Republicans speaking out and saying, wait a second, you know, they have a right to say this, but what they said was very offensive to millions of Americans and millions of families, that's where I think the problem is for Republicans. All right. The Duck Dynasty family, uh, they, they responded. They put out a statement saying this, quote, while some of Phil's unfiltered comments to the reporter were coarse, his beliefs are grounded in the teachings of the Bible. We are disappointed that Phil has been placed on hiatus for expressing his faith, which is his constitutionally protected right. We have had a successful working relationship with A&E, but as a family, we cannot imagine the show going forward without our patriarch at the helm, end quote. Christian, you know, A&E had to see this coming, but uh, doesn't A&E have every right to say, hey, you can constitutionally say whatever the heck you want, but so do we to do whatever we want if we are not in agreement here? Look, I'm not going to defend Phil. He's a big boy. And I think as an employer, a &E has every right to fire an employee who they disagree with. Just as I, as a consumer, have every right, if I choose, to boycott a &E network. What I think you're seeing from the conservative talking, talking heads, the pundits, the politicians yesterday, mm -hmm. was really this backlash against the bully pulpit of the gay lobby. Look what happened with Chick-fil-A, when the Chick-fil-A president said that he was simply in favor of traditional marriage between one man and one woman, and how they attacked them. That's why you're seeing seeing these conservative pundits to come out and strongly as they are. But if they are looking at Chick-fil-A as uh, an example here, Kristen, then they would not be doing this. Isn't that right? No, they're upset that the gay lobby's well, first intention is always At that time, to if you were a, a customer of Chick-fil-A and you didn't agree with them, you'd walk the other way, which is what you're saying that uh, folks can now do if they don't agree with A&E, and A&E is kind of doing that themselves, too. No, look at what Brandon Ambrosio said yesterday in Time Magazine, is why is the gay lobby's always first reaction is dismiss, don't engage. We don't want to talk about, we just want to shut you up. Mm -hmm. And we call you a bigot for disagreeing with us, but we're never able to fully understand someone else's point of <laughs> view you and have a civil discussion about that. This is not, this is not about having a, you know, I have to say, this is where I think the line gets really blurred. This is not about having a civil discussion about differences in what people may see marriage. This is hateful speech. It was well, not if you hateful. Look at his it remarks, was crass, it is. but it wasn't it hateful is. No, it wasn't crass. It was more than he crass. He didn't say anything hateful towards someone, towards one of my friends who has same-sex attractions. It wasn't hateful. It was it was rude and it was inappropriate, but it wasn't hateful. When you, Christian, well, Christian, what do you think of the responses that were made by Jindal and Palin? Do you agree with their reactions? 
I think I think what they're doing is they're standing up to the gay lobby, and I think with what they're seeing is something that's very scary for many Christians in the country. So you don't is that agree. When you stand up and say that say, acting on your same-sex attraction is a sin, people call you a bigot. But the Bible says that's a sin, just as lying, cheating, and stealing is a sin. What was left out of the interview was the most important part of the gospel, where it says that we're all sinners and that we've all fallen short of God's glory and we've been forgiven and we can be redeemed because of God's grace and the, and the resurrection of His Son. Chris, very quickly. I mean, I think it's really simple. I mean, unfortunately, these, these kind of divisions are going to continue because there are certain segments of the country that are never going to change their views on these issues. They're never going to move in a more progressive direction. And they can sit there and pretend like this is, you know, the gay lobby or somebody else that's their mm. at fault. This is the fault that they, at the end of the day that they have not come to terms with the fact that the country has changed. Okay. It is moving in a different direction. Chris and Cofinas. alienating people and making people feel bad about who they are is not a good way to do business or to live in this country. Chris Cofinas, Kristen Hawkins. Thank you very much. Wish you had a couple more minutes. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Thanks. Checking the news feed this morning, a sweeping defense bill.